What's the most f ked up thing you saw at a sleepover? Sleepover in friend's basement with four of us there. I think this was 4th grade. Sometime around midnight the host friend's dad opened the door at the top of the basement stairs to ask if we wanted snacks. But right as the words started out of his mouth. He comes tumbling down the stairs and hit his head pretty hard. He didn't move for what felt like forever and we heard from the top of the stairs some delirious yelling. My innocent self thought it was the host's mom afraid because her husband just tripped and fell. My other friend later explained to me that. No. A host mom was drunk off her ass and pushed the dad down the stairs. So yeah. I guess I witnessed a wife try to kill her husband. A friend of mine at school used to recount her side of entire conversations from the day in her sleep. Like a tape recorder. It was both weird and highly informative. I slept over a friend's house when I was around 10 and we were playing Nintendo. At some point he yelled shit and without a word his dad comes storming into the room. Pulled him up and just started spanking him in front of me then took him out into the hallway to scold him. Then he just came back as if nothing happened but with a red face and teary eyes. It was the most awkward. Uncomfortable night of my life having to continue on pretending to have a fun sleepover after that but I felt so bad for him I did my best. It was what I imagined sleeping over at Butter's house would be like. I have another sleepover story that always sticks in my mind too. But does not deserve its own post so I'll just summarize here. Watched a lad in at a b-day party. Woke up later that night to friend's older bro jerking off noisily in his sleeping bag with the movie paused on a scene of Jasmine. One of my friends went over to his mate's house for a double date. They were watching Point Break and decided to eat cookie dough as a snack during. Owner of the house was absentmindedly eating. Not realizing that nobody else was. He ate any entire king sized roll to himself. They all went off to bed and the owner went up to his room. Around the middle of the night they hear f ked up sounds coming from upstairs and all go to investigate. Including the girl the owner really liked. Because he is clearly in trouble. Owner was buck naked in his insolite calling for help shting and vomiting violently and uncontrollably as the dough had fermented and expanded in his stomach. Had to get the ambulance. Don't think they dated after it. Not something I saw but one of my friends in high school told a group of us girls at a sleepover that she'd been babysitting the previous weekend and the girl reported to her that she was being molested by her uncle. My friend was so upset and scared to tell her parents, they were family friends, and hadn't told anyone. We made her go upstairs and tell her mom. Her mom called the other family. And we basically heard both her parents sobbing off and on all night. The other parents called the cops and as far as I recall, the uncle was arrested and spent some time in prison. My friend was really scared she'd have to speak in court but didn't have to. My friend's elder brother would get mad at her for small things, went in his room, lost the TV remote, shut the door too loudly, and proceed to beat the shti out of her. Pull her hair and hold her down and punch her in the sides. Literally throw her across the room. He was almost 10 years older than us and easily had 100-150 lbs on her. He would eventually tire from the beatings. Leave the room. And she would go back to playing with me like nothing happened. I remember being so unbelievably shocked by it but eventually became desensitized because of how normal it seemed to her. And how unfazed she was by it. At my buddy's birthday party. He had a bunch of us sleep over in a tent in his backyard. One of my friends said we are all guys it's okay to be naked together. Well some of the guys agreed and some didn't I was way too shy to even be in my boxers around my friends at the time. Hell no I was taking my clothes off. Well birthday boy agreed. Micro penis. After seeing the other boys normal sized parts. Not really f ked up but I was terrified one night I slept over at my friend's house. I wake up in the middle of the night because I felt sick. However. My friend wasn't in his bed and both clocks were broken and stuck at some random time like 1. 38 am or something. I was convinced that time had frozen and everyone disappeared. I remember crying and being too scared to go downstairs to check the microwave clock. 
Eventually I went into his parents room and woke up his parents. My friend was sleeping in his parents bed too. LOL. Semicolon. Edit. When I was in elementary school. I got invited with my sister to a birthday party of one of her friends. Everything was going fine for most of the night. And then the catastrophe happened. Her mom came down to the basement and was clearly very upset. But didn't explain why. She then had each of us line up on the stairs from the basement to the ground level of the house and brought us in one by one. I wasn't the first in line but no one was telling us what happened once it was their turn. Finally I was up. And her mom took me into the bathroom and showed me a trash can with a poop in it. She was basically on the verge of tears. Pointing to the trash can and asking me. Is this your poop? Is this your poop? It wasn't. We never found out whose it was. Or at least I wasn't told. We have joked that someone will finally come forward on their deathbed. But my sister and I have since lost contact with those girls. So we may never know. One time I was at a friend's house for a sleepover and he and another friend held me down on the couch and tried to light my hair on fire with lighters. I managed to break free and ran upstairs and asked my friend's mom to let me use the phone. Mom came promptly to pick me up. Needless to say, I was not on speaking terms with the other two again. I was 13-14 and staying the night at a friend's house with two other girls. When we were woken up by a loud popping noise from her brother's room. Naturally four curious girls went to see what the hell he was doing at 3 in the morning. Her mom came running up the stairs about the time we entered his room. And quickly herded us back out of his room in hysterics. It took my brain forever to register that he had shot himself in the chest. Luckily he survived. And I never had another sleepover at someone else's house again. Plenty of nightmares though. When I was in the 6th. Comma grade I was going to stay the night at friend's house but we ended up at another kid's down the street. This guy ended up talking about how he would hump his bed until there was a wet spot on his boxers. He ended up doing this while we were in the room watching TV and then showed us the wet spot. And that was how I learned how to jerk off. Same. I was so confused when I saw the wet spot in my bed after doing this. I remember we did a secondary school bonding thing in our first year where you effectively go to a summer camp for the weekend with the whole year group. About 211-12 year olds. To get to know everyone. Sleeping arrangements were in dormitories with bunk beds. Separated by gender. About 30 to a room. Lights go out in my dorm. No teachers. Just 30 11-12 year olds that don't know each other that well. A kid farts. Hilarious. Someone else farts. A few others. Then. I vividly remember a distinct sloppy sound followed by a panic toe. A kid chat himself. I would also like to note. This was not the only public pants ting by this kid. He did it again final year during our Duke of Edinburgh ward expedition overnight whilst camping. I was sharing a tent with him. That's a whole different story. We were playing hide and seek with my friend's little sister and I went into the unlocked bathroom while loudly saying where could she be? Mare Benhir? The little sister was 5. We were 10. And the father was jack hammering his dick while staring at himself in the bathroom mirror and had his other hand tweaking his nipple. I left and walked home. Kid who had a pee jar in his closet. It was a gallon pickle jar. If he had to pee in the middle of the night he had to use the jar. Once his mom put him, us, in his room for the night we weren't allowed to leave his room until she came to get us the next morning. How did they make sure of that? The doorknob was turned around backwards so they could lock us in. Holy shit, my inbox. Okay. The jar was for emergency use only and was emptied and washed in the morning if you used it. Probably rarely used it since most kids that age can hold it all night. He was a bad kid and stayed in trouble. Pretty sure the lock thing was to send him to his room and make sure he stayed there. Don't know about the parents' Zul habits but I'm not surprised that most of Reddit immediately jumped on the drug-fueled orgies responses. What if there was a fire? I grew up in a very rural area of the southern US. 
a middle school girlfriend was having a sleepover and later in the evening her mom told us she, the mom, could talk to the spirits of dead people through her daughter. She got her daughter drunk on wine and hypnotized her. I don't know how long we sat in that room but a lot of time went by with her mom demanding spirits speak through her daughter. Her daughter admitted to all sorts of terrible things. Supposedly dead people's spirits speaking through her. This was over 30 years ago and I still remember it. I remember the mom sitting in a chair chain smoking and her daughter slumped over in a chair. Seemingly dog drunk. Slurring confessions of murder. Suicide. Being killed etc. She told us sometimes spirits would manifest in such a way that her daughter would attack her and tear the house up. It was really strange. Her daughter was a very quiet girl. The things that spoke through her were not like her at all. When I was around 13-14. A kid I invited over to my sleepover birthday party decided to strip down to his tighty witties right before cake and ice cream. Myself. My parents. Friends and relatives were mortified. Apparently it was normal behavior at his house. When I was 12. We went on a family trip to Vegas. I woke up in the hotel to my parents having SX in the bed next to me. I was trapped and had nowhere to go. My mom said something along the lines of stop we're gonna wake up the kids. My dad gets up walks over to our bed and rips the blankets off our faces and said see fast asleep. I should have won an Oscar. Edit I had no idea this would blow up. Thank you for all the love strangers. I have no idea how this works ha. Huh? So this obviously messed with me going forward. Any trips after this. I just waited my parents out. They would say small things like going to bed anytime soon. And I'm just flat out like nope. They would fall asleep and I won. In hindsight as an adult with kids. Slaps you. This bad boy can sleep for miles. I had a friend whose dad had a fish tank of piranha. I really wanted to feed them a hot dog but her dad told me they already ate. During the night I snuck down to where the fish tank was and there was picked clean fish bones in the tank. The dad was down there watching football and he spotted me and asked if I still wanted to feed the piranha. Being a small piranha obsessed child I nodded and produced the hot dog I saved from the barbecue dinner we had. It was the most terrifying and awesome thing I have ever saw. 10 stroke 10 would never want to watch 3 piranha go at a hot dog ever again. At least not in person. When I was like 9 or 10 I spent the night at a friend's house. I knew his mom was pretty strict but holy shit did I find out how much. He did something really minor like leave his socks in the living room and she started shouting at him like he left a turd on the floor or something. Then he pissed her off again that night and she wailed on his ass so hard that it scared me. She was a psycho the way she was spanking and shouting at him. I hated her guts after that night. Edit. I have no idea how this guy turned out. We moved away soon after and googling his common name is like looking for a John Smith. Also another guy with the same name was murdered in the same town. It wasn't him, so it's buried pretty deep. A kid walked on the backyard monkey bars. Slipped. Fell. Hit his chin. Bit his tongue off. The dad's mistress came over. Apparently the mother knew of her existence and it had been putting a strain on things. My buddy and I hid in the basement while the wife and mistress were screaming at each other upstairs. Shockingly did not cause a divorce. Woke up to my friend watching PRN on the PS3. That happened to me once a good 9-10 years ago. Found my friend's older brother's anime body pillow. He had clearly did the dirty with it. His body pillow stands up on its own. Five of us at a friend's mom's house in high school, 17 stroke 18, woke up and there were four of us. One of the guys there was apparently in the mom's room f king the guy's mother. The worst part? Apparently it wasn't a new thing. The mom had been picking off her son's friends and f king them to make her ex-husband jealous. Edit. No I did not get a turn. But then again I didn't make a pass at her. I don't think he knew his mom was doing it. Everyone was pretty cautious to no spill the beans to him until after graduation. 
When he did find out he was more disappointed in his mother than pissed at his friends. Seems like a really weird family dynamic. My friend starting having phone sx with her bf while we were watching a pixar movie. I hid in the bathroom for like 20 minutes so I could convince her I was sick so I could get a ride home from my mom. We were also in junior high. I took a bath and when I got out my friend told her mom I had soap in my bag. I never said that and her mom made me get back in the bath and washed my bits for me. When I was about 15. There was a couple in my cousin's congregation that offered to host a sleepover for some of the teen girls. I was staying with my cousin at the time. So I went with her to their house for the sleepover. When I got there. I realized that this couple only had one kid. And it was a little boy. Maybe 6 or 7 years old. The couple set us 5 teenage girls up in the basement. It was furnished and carpeted. Not a creepy basement. And the wife set out a bunch of snacks and then we didn't see her or the little boy the rest of the night. But the 30 something dad spent most of the evening with us offering us sips of his car a drink and leaving the liquor cabinet doors open when he would announce that he was going to another room. I was creeped out. But I was so sheltered at the time that I didn't understand why exactly until years later. Oh boy. Well. The opposite house to the living room had a visible bathroom. It was the back of their house. Since the back of the houses were connected with their gardens. We saw a guy who had hung himself. That. Was really not nice. I was at a sleepover at a friend's house and there were about 10 of us bundled into the living room. Me and another girl were last ones up watching some random shti on TV. Think it was speed? Anyways. One of the girls sat bolt upright and the light of the TV was reflecting off her face and her eyes were glazed over and she wasn't responding to anything we said. She then got up and we obviously followed her. We guessed at this point she was sleepwalking. Into the kitchen she goes. Opens up one of the cupboards. Pulls down her PJS. Thrusts her hips forward and started pissing. We stood there in shock and hysterics and of course. None of us wanted to touch it so we just kinda shut the door on it. Next day we could not get her to believe us. Apparently had never sleepwalked before. Girl put a massive ant in her vagina right in front of me like it was nothing. Same girl introduced my sisters and I to the choke yourself out game. Where you take several deep breaths hyperventilate and hold your breath until you pass out. Whoever fakes it had to sleep alone. Needless to say. My mom was pissed when she found us all unconscious in different areas of the bedroom. Edit. Thanks for the awards. I'm only 2 months into reddit. So much appreciated. Comma girl put a massive ant in her vagina right in front of me like it was nothing. She's got a bright future in a very niche PRN genre. One of my BFFs dads tried to get me drunk and made a pass at me. I was 15 and staying at my one girlfriend's house. A dad tried to be cool and buy us wine coolers. So she and I were up drinking and listening to music in her room. Her dad had to listening right outside of the door because when I went out into the hallway he popped right up in my face. He started getting way too close and handsy. This was not my first rodeo. I have been dodging my mom's sugar daddy's BF for years. So I saw what was happening and escaped into the bathroom. I pretended to be sick until he left the hallway. I was friends with his daughter until college. I just made sure to never be alone with her dad again. Sad thing is I wasn't her only friend who he tried things with but we never talked about it until years later.